Welcome to our short service of Compline during Holy Week. The sun is shining, the clouds are out of the sky, and things look brighter. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Brethren, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist, steadfast in the faith. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thank mercy to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who hath made heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to Almighty God. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore, we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us, forgive us all our sins, and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and bring us to life everlasting, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Almighty and Merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. <clears throat> Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that with thy wonted favour thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasies, tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thy only Son, who with the Holy Ghost and thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. We say the psalm on page. Or Psalm 15. O Lord, who shall dwell in thy tabernacle, or who shall rest upon thy holy hill? Even he that leadeth an uncorrupt life, and doeth the thing which is right, and speaketh the truth from his heart. He that hath used no deceit in his tongue, nor done evil to his neighbour, and hath not slandered his neighbour. He that setteth not by himself, but is lowly in his own eyes, and maketh much of them that fear the Lord. He that sweareth unto his neighbour, and disappointeth him not, though it were to, to his own hindrance. He that hath not given his money upon usury, nor taken reward against the innocent. Whoso doeth these things shall never fall. Establish, O Christ, thy kingdom in our hearts. Keep us, thy living temple, pure and free from the lure of earthly temptation, that in thy Father's house we may be received into the eternal habitations of thy glory and dominion, now and for ever. Amen. 
reading is taken from Mark 13. As he came out of the temple, one of his disciples said to Jesus, Look, teacher, what large stones and what large buildings. Then Jesus asked him, Do you see these great buildings? Not one stone will be left here upon another. All will be thrown down. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. The Lord preserveth them that are faithful. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. A short address. The short reading today talks about stones and buildings, but Jesus was not talking about real stones and real buildings. He was talking about himself, how he himself will be rebuilt in three days. In this in these very strange times, which seem to have gone on for long enough, quite long enough, we ourselves have become like whited sepulchres, uh, whited sepulchres. I'm sure we have all developed our lives into a nice, steady stream where we do nearly the same things every day. And yesterday was the same as today and the same as tomorrow. This may be the highlight of your day, who knows? But Holy Week is a time when we consider our own lives and how we can tear down the building blocks and build anew. Our lives can become tedious. Our lives can become the same. Our lives can become dull and boring, and we can feel ineffectual. But Holy Week gives us a chance for spiritual renewal, to build your building blocks anew, to build them up into something splendid, something that is good for you, good for the world, and a jolly good thing all round. We can sit down and do the same thing as yesterday, and the same thing as tomorrow. On the other hand, we can do something new. We can think differently. We can go out into the world, into the sunshine, and thinking, today is the day I'm going to change my life. I'm not expecting a huge turnaround in your life. You don't have to change everything, or suddenly be a, a facsimile of Saint Teresa, because that might be difficult. It would be difficult for me, and I'm sure you would all find it a challenge. But you can think anew. You can behave differently, in some small way, so that your life is built again. So the building blocks, splendid building blocks, which have been there for all this time, all these months during lockdown, can be swept away, and something new put in its place, something new and rewarding, something that you will look back on and say, that was a good thing to do, that was a good bit of rebuilding. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, 
to be a light, to light of the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Preserve, Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, Christ have, have mercy, mercy upon us. us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our fathers, to be praised and glorified above all for ever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him for ever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all for ever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord, guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, that thy people may rejoice in thee? O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer, and and let our cry come unto thee. thee. Let us pray. Visit, we beseech thee, O Lord, this place, and drive from it all the snares of the enemy. Let thy holy angels dwell herein to preserve us in peace. And may thy blessing be upon us evermore, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Light in our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Be present, O most merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We will lay down in peace and take our rest, for it is thou, Lord, only that make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, O Lord, for it is toward evening and the day is far spent. As the watchmen look for the morning, so do we look for thee, O Christ. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, bless us and preserve us now, this night, and for all nights. Amen. Amen.